In this presentation, we're going to discuss yet another type of handles, GTA and user object handles inside a process. These are uh, very similar to normal handles which we discussed before uh, like of a file. Conceptually it's, it's exactly the same thing. There are a couple of more things which makes them a little bit more interesting which we are gonna see shortly. These handles represent a display related artifact. For example, if you are watching this video in a Windows operating system, you must be mostly looking at a user object which is nothing but a window handle. Kernel treats a GDI and a user object handles very differently than a normal handles. That's why we are having this separate presentation for this particular type of handles. There are some big ticket items like IRP, file object, device object, etc. in kernel is not involved in the case of GDA handles. Even driver object is not involved in the case of GDA handles. All the implementation goes into a driver called win32k.sys. And the actual kernel, which is the NTOS kernel.exe, has only minimal routing roles. Just passing down the APIs to this particular win32k.sys. I'm pretty sure every one of us has used win32k.sys one way or the other. It implements practically the entire UI which you see unless you're playing a game or something. It implements the most important functionality in Windows, which is the copy-paste, the clipboard implementation. So when you do a copy and paste into something, it is Win32K.sys which is doing the job. The actual implementation for that copy and paste is coming from Win32K.sys. More details on this particular stack of Windows in the series. Windows Display Internals and WDDM. So more about a user object. They are normally ready-made, non-drawing, non-rendering related stuffs from Win32K.sys. A typical example is a window. So you call an API like create window and you get a ready-made window from win32k.sys with basic functionalities. And there is one more concept called desktop. The desktop kernel object. Normally, we use a user object within a desktop. In this presentation, I'll be showing you the relationship between these jargons. Now, GDI objects are normally related to drawing and a rendering. Drawing a bitmap, drawing a line, all those are done by GDI objects. It is like a makeup kit for a process, if you will. It cannot be shared between processes. A GDA handle is process specific. Another handle which is process specific and cannot be shared is something called IO completion ports. IO completion ports are uh, normal handles. I'm not going to discuss it here, but just mentioning it that it cannot be shared. Both user object and GDA objects are C structures, just like in the case of other handles. They are C structures inside session memory created by Win32K.sys. Session memory is nothing but a 
part of Canela disk space which is mapped and unmapped when a session loads and unloads. Not much details here again. This is a list of, I hope it is a complete list of GDI objects because this page is taken from MSDN. So you can uh, look at the documentation of this APS to understand more about this. Uh, most of these things, uh, if you look at, they are drawing related. To draw something on the screen, that's where uh, all these things comes into the picture. User object, as I mentioned, it's all ready-made stuff. Cursor, hook, icon, menu, window, etc. In this demo, I will be just showing you the task manager. And uh, process explorer, I don't have anything much to show from the GDA and user handles perspective. And I was planning to show some third-party tools for this presentation. Unfortunately, in Windows 10, I am a little suspicious about the accuracy of those tools due to some uh, reason which I am at to research. In this demo, I will be just showing you the task manager. In the task manager, uh, right-click on the column description, select columns. Here you will be able to see GDI objects and user objects. Click on them, click OK. Here you will be able to see amount of GDI objects and user objects used by a particular process. You can see that the service processes like SVC host has hardly any GDA handles because they don't have any UI. So this is a relation between a couple of terms which we were discussing before. So this is a computer or the system. System can have a multiple sessions especially in a terminal service environment normally there are two sessions one is session 0 and interactive session a session can have multiple win stations so basically session is a display object level isolation so different sessions behave like different computers, if you know what I mean. Hopefully we'll have a, a different session for explaining this further. For the time being, we try to focus on the other objects, like win station, for example. A session can have a number of win stations. A win station has a clipboard atom table etc along with that it has n number of desktops a desktop can have a windows menu hooks etc most of the user objects you cannot share those objects between desktops now all the process is associated with a win station and all the threads are associated with a desktop. Threads in a process can span across multiple desktops. I know I'm discussing too many jargons here so don't worry about that. Um, we will have a detailed session on the display internals in the WDDM series. Uh, we will discuss the other part of the display as well where we kind of bypass the winter dedicated where OpenGL, DirectX, etc. comes. So that uh, brings us to the summary. So we have seen two more types of handles, a GTA and a user object handles. There are some more type of handle uh, like H desktop from create desktop API which does not fit well into any of the three categories so far we have discussed but conceptually it is exactly the same. One rule common to all type of handles is 
handle is a number which represent a kernel C structure object. So that is common to all type of handles. That's about the presentation. Now, reviews, comments and suggestions I would like to take from one single location. So if you don't mind, I would like to follow this particular pattern for the reviews and comments. Unfortunately, it is not really useful to me if you update the YouTube comments as YouTube is just one way we publish content. Now, if you think you need more personal attention or have some in-depth doubt or need some more training, please feel free to follow these links. Also, please refer someone if you think they can benefit from similar trainings. All services are available online as well as direct classroom training. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.